Hi, good afternoon. My name is Justin Danhoff, and I'm here as a proxy, and I also represent the National Center for Public Policy Research. We're a free market think tank and also a shareholder. I appreciate the opportunity to speak with you. Mr. Steinhoffel, your company is a member of the Retail Industry Leaders Association that goes by RELA. It's one of the country's largest trade organizations. Recently, RELA launched its massive sustainability campaign that lobbies for and mandates, among other things, reductions in greenhouse gas emissions, reducing the environmental footprint of consumer products, and sustainability labeling for consumer products. And your company's own website states that, quote, environmental sustainability at Target is integrated throughout our business, from how we build our stores to the products on our shelves. Our basic concern as a shareholder is that this push for an undefinable so-called sustainability will negatively affect Target's smaller suppliers, the consumers, and the shareholders, those people that will ultimately bear the cost of this self-imposed green regulation that Target and other real members are advancing. It appears to us that retailers are trying to cleanse their guilt over selling consumer products by advancing this green initiative. However, the costs are going to be borne out by your smaller suppliers, your customers, and your shareholders. So my questions are, Mr. Steinhoffel, why should your suppliers and consumers have to pay more for products so you can feel better about your perceived impact on the environment? And will you commit today to issue a separate financial cost-benefit analysis detailing your company's sustainability campaigns so the target shareholders here can have some transparency and see exactly how much it's costing this company annually. Okay. Come here. Sure, I'll take that. Uh, with respect to really, yes, we are members, and uh, we have participated with them on a range of issues. Uh, we're not aware that RELA has established any position on sustainable practices. They do bring people together for um, conversation on this topic, and we participate in that. We've established our own sustainability practices. In fact, in the Here for Good report uh, that you can find online, you'll see how we've attempted to incorporate those practices into a variety of our business operations in a way that makes sense for all of our constituents. So the lens that we apply to those practices is one that relates to the guest. This is a product or service that will resonate. Uh, and it also uh, applies to you as a shareholder. Is this something that will uh, go to our bottom line and make ongoing sense as a business concern. So we balance out a, a number of different uh, considerations, and we believe that when you read that report, you'll see that we've taken a responsible view of sustainability in a way that uh, produces good outcomes for everyone that has an interest in this topic. Okay, I guess as a quick follow-up, I mean, if I go to that report, am I going to see the full cost and full benefit? Um, because online it seems like there's just a few cherry-picked feel-good stories of sustainability here and there, and, you know, is there a way that a customer can know, I'm paying a markup for this product because the company wants to label it sustainable? Can the is there any transparency for the customer and for the shareholder and how much this is costing? Uh, soon when you go to the online uh, report, you'll see much more detail. We established some specific goals in different areas uh, that we'll report progress on very soon. Um, so you will get much more detail around uh, how we are proceeding against those goals uh, with respect to specific financial breakouts by specific uh, bucket. Uh, no, that will not be included. Okay, thank you. Mm 